Hello everyone and very welcome to the channel. In this video, I present you yet another user interface for large language models to be running locally. This tool, Sov UI, is slightly different because not only it is quite easy to install, but its interface is quite nice. Sov is a word from Latin. Sov means smooth, charming and sophisticated. So let's see after installing this Sov UI on our local system to see how it works. Also, uh, it is very important to note that Sov UI is just a user interface and nothing else. So it, you, it doesn't allow you to download model by itself. Rather, you put it as an interface on top of other backends. At the moment, it only supports locally running LM Studio. But Olama and other support is on the way. It is at very, very early stages. As you can see that it is right now an experimental PWA chat UI built specifically for interacting with local AI models. When we say PWA, PWA stands for Progressive Web App. Progressive Web App or PWA are web applications that provide a native app-like experience to users, combining the best of web and mobile apps. The key characteristics of uh, this tool is responsive design, fast and seamless navigation, offline capability through caching, push notifications, home screen installation, or uh, you can even implement HTTPS on top of it. There are a lot of other advantages of PWA, but this is not the time to go into it. Ultimate goal of Sov UI Beta is to have a single executable one-click local install app that doesn't require a docker. At the moment, there are a few things which we need to do in order to get it installed and I will show you all the steps. Other roadmap objective of this tool is to support OpenAI API compatible local LLMs backend such as Olama, Lama.cpp and few others. Also, they intend to have a seamless upgrade process when new version is available. Plus, it is also going to offer soon nudge notifications by AI personas to perform interactions. Another cool thing is that there are no plans for a hosted version, so I don't think so they are going to monetize it. Anyway, enough talk. Let's go and try to see how can we get this thing installed. Before I show you the installation, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Okay, so that is done. Now, one of the prerequisites, of course, is to have LM Studio installed. If you don't know what LM Studio is, then please go to my channel, click on this search button and simply type LM Studio and you will find hundreds of videos there on LM Studio as how to install it on Linux, Windows, wherever you like. There are heaps and heaps of them. You see that you keep and it is not just um, installation, a lot of other things. And I'm more than sure you will find everything you need in order to uh, understand and run LM Studio. I already have LM Studio installed. So this is my LM Studio, the latest version where you can see that I already have started the server. So what happens is when you start LM Studio and then I'm just clicking on the left at the top icon, you can just simply select the model from here. So I already have this model, Metal Lama 3 8 billion instruct. So once you have that, you just click on this developer mode on the left hand side. Here you would need to click on this start server. It is going to start serving that model, this one on the right hand side, which is ready on port 1234. And of course you can uh, change this port to anything you like, but I'm just going to go on default port 1234. And you can see in the logs on the, on the bottom section that server is started and serving that LLM as you can see here. Okay, so LM Studio is all good and running. I'll just leave it at, as is. Next up, I'm just going to click on this my terminal. This is where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy masked compute. 
let me clear the screen now there are few prerequisites which you need to meet first and foremost you need to have node.js installed so you see i have node version v20 which is quite recent another thing which you need to install is bun bun is an all-in-one toolkit for javascript and typescript apps it ships as a single executable at its core is a bun runtime which is a very fast javascript runtime designed as a drop-in replacement for node.js and by the way it is written in zig and powered by javascript code under the hood the main advantage of bun is that it dramatically reduces startup times and memory usage and that is probably this is using bun okay now i already have node installed and if you don't know how to install node it's very simple please search again my channel you will find the video i don't have bun installed in order to install bun all i need to do is to run this command which is going to download the bun and then it is going to install it on my local system and it has even added it to my uh, shell profile so i'm just going to source it so that it is going to source so i'm just going to deactivate my default environment let's clear the screen and then do bun version now i have the bun i have the node that is good now let me create a conda environment which is a virtual environment you can go with python virtual environment if you like but i just want to do with the conda let's wait for it to get installed and then we will check again the versions to make sure that both of bun and node are visible in this one and my conda environment is ready let me clear the screen you can see in the parentheses on the left let's quickly check npm version node version and bun version everything is good let me clear the screen next up let's git clone the repo of this soft ui and i'm going to put the link in video's description too and you can see that not only we have <clears throat> cloned the repo but also we have entered into it next up let's install from the root of this repo all the prerequisites and stuff with the bun install and let's wait for it to get everything installed and that is already done which is quite good and if you get this error that it has blocked few things so you can simply run bun pm untrusted just to see what was there so these are the ones we and then in order to run it you can simply run bun pm trust here okay so it's not trusting it hang on okay so i missed just putting this dash dash all at the end but now you can see that it has installed everything here that is cool let me clear the screen and now in order to run this soft ui all we need to do is to run this command bend bun def and if i go up you see that now it is running at local host at port 3000 which we can check out at localhost and there you go this is our interface which says chai messages and this is uh, the interface of sov ui very very uh, minimalistic i would say so the first step of course you would need to do is to go to uh, right and then click here on this cog icon and from here you can select your provider i don't think so any other provider works at the moment just select lm studio from here and our lm studio is working running already here and then you see it already has populated our meta llama and then we can save the changes these are saved which is good okay i thought it will exit but and remember this is a um, very very experimental very very new so let's cut it some slack for some user interface oddities and then on the bottom right you can click on this plus item you can create a persona for example if you click on create maybe i'll just go with new here and then i'm just going to create my persona and then do i need to give everything can i just say this nope so i need to give everything there okay let me fill it or maybe i'm just clicking on this uh, magic button and this is not my age by the way so don't worry so i'm just clicking on this magic icon pronouns okay occupation okay that is cool hobbies 
this is fun and then okay so this is fun where it is okay how about if i go with no religion i don't want to offend anyone and then education relationship education okay interesting our class and me okay social attributes let's click on create and why it says create again okay create here and then click on your icon and then you can start chatting with it there you go so what is happiness it has given us the happiness what is this okay it doesn't do anything if i click on it so you see it simply seems like a uh, i would say phone sort of uh, interface so if i just you know make it a little shorter looks like a phone screen to me it is good i really like it and then you can of course keep chatting with it and it will respond to you so this is our locally hosted llama 3.18 billion quantized model hosted on LM Studio, which we are talking about about and of course you can create as many personas as you like and then of course you can uh, I think this is the chat search which you can access okay it's not doing anything maybe with the persona okay, I'm not sure what sort of chat is uh, search is that because it's not working on these chats anyway so it looks really cool I think it does one thing uh, it does it nicely I am uh, and you can of course access it after serving it maybe on publicly you can even access it on your phone it would just give you a good user experience because it is a pwa application so that's it guys let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching